Hey, que la que hay, mi amigo, Rocky here from SpeakSpanishFaster.com and in today's video, we're going to be talking about why is it so hard to understand when natives speak Spanish and then I'm going to give you three tips that can really help you with your Spanish comprehension so that you can start understanding when natives talk to you in Spanish. But really quick, before I get into that, can you please do me a favor? Please comment down below and let me know what do you need help with in your Spanish, you know, what do you need to practice more or how can I help you learn Spanish and speak Spanish better? What are some topics that you might be struggling with? The whole reason I created this channel was to help you speak Spanish faster. And one of the best ways that I can do that is if you let me know what it is that you really need help with so I can really dial it in and focus on creating videos that are tailored specifically to you. Now that I got that out the way, let's get straight into today's video. So this is usually what happens happens we spend so much time in school or with apps and stuff and we listen to all the Spanish we practice it and we think we got it down we've been going through conjugation we've mastered all these vocabulary words or at least think we've mastered these vocab these vocabulary words we can write papers and we can turn in a plus work to the teacher and you know we're we're all high and mighty oh yeah i know spanish i know spanish but then when we get in a real situation when it's time to talk to somebody that where their only language is spanish a native speaker things change right because the way that a native speaks it is so much different than the way that we learned it in school or the way that we always hear it on pretty much any application that we use you see the problem isn't that you don't know the words that are being said you know all the words and you would know them if you read them but the real problem comes from not hearing it from many different variations or not really being accustomed to hearing it from a native in the streets actually talking how they would talk in a conversation so let's say i say something like mira que fue lo que estaba pasando contigo ayer yo fui para tu casa y no estaba ahí pretty quick right you you've been learning spanish and you probably learned all those words i just said and don't worry i'll come back to it i'll slow it down and i'll pretty much walk you through what i said but you probably have studied all those words i said you know all the words I said, but when I said it that fast, that quickly, and in that dialect, that accent that you aren't familiar with, it was probably difficult to understand it. So what did I say? I said, mira, que fue lo que estaba pasando contigo ayer. Yo fui para tu casa y no estabas ahí. Now, of course... I said it, my dialect, I'm Puerto Rican, so I cut a lot of the words when we talk, as do not just Caribbean Spanish. A lot of people think Caribbean Spanish are the only ones that cut words, but I've been to many Spanish-speaking countries. I have friends in other countries, and they cut the S's the same exact way. So the reason why it was so difficult to pretty much understand what I said is because, again, we're accustomed to learning the proper way to say it which is good you should know the proper way to say it and i wish sometimes when i spoke spanish i wish it wasn't as choppy now obviously i would change it up depending on the situation um if i'm talking to somebody formally then i would say you know then i would pronounce every syllable um, but if I'm just talking to a friend, is usually when I chop it. So it's just like in English, you know, when you're with your friends, you say, hey, what's good? Yo, what you been doing? Stuff like that. But when you're in a more formal situation, you're like, hi, how are you doing today? Are you doing well? I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. You know, we change the way we talk. I mean, we all do it. Um, and it, the same thing happens in Spanish. But the problem is, when we learn Spanish, we're only learning that formal talk. And by formal talk, I don't just mean usted. I don't mean that stuff as formal talk. I mean actually pronouncing every syllable. Now, again, you should be practicing the proper way to say things. But when it comes to understanding people, they're not going to do that, especially when you get in these more informal settings, when you're hanging out with people just, you know, in the streets or walking around and stuff, going to another country. They're not going to be talking 100% um, formal. Hola, ¿cómo estás hoy? ¿Qué estás haciendo? ¿Qué quieres hacer? ¿Tú quieres comer algo? They're not going to talk like that. It's going to be like, Hey, ¿qué lo que contigo? ¿Cómo tú estás? Ah, ¿tú quieres ir para allá? You know, it's going to be a lot different. So we have to accustom ourselves to hearing this informal type 
of Spanish um, so that we can learn the way the people put the words together. So again, going back to the sentence I said, que fue lo que estaba? That's what I said, estaba. I didn't say estaba, I said estaba. And even for the word estabas, I said estaba. That's just how I put it together. Um, but unless you know that people say tava instead of estabas sometimes, then you wouldn't know what I said. So again, we kind of get into this, the same question keeps appearing. Well, how do we improve this? How do we master this if everywhere we learn Spanish, whether it's the apps or whether it's through school Spanish, they're teaching us the perfect way, which again, I have nothing against those methods of learning Spanish. I truly believe that we need to learn the proper way to say things, but at the same time, we need to also learn the more informal way how people in the streets are going to be saying these words. And again, it's going to be different in every country and it's going to be different in different regions of those countries. That's why I highly recommend if you're learning Spanish, then, or if you're going to be learning a particular Spanish, or let's say you're surrounded by a particular type of Spanish to learn and master that Spanish, or if you're going to a particular Spanish country, master that Spanish that they speak there because it's going to be completely different than another country. But with that being said, I think all informal Spanish has similar characteristics, cutting words, putting words together and things like that. So the more you hear stuff like that, the better. So how do you do this? So the first tip I'll give you to really start improving this comp comprehension is just listen to more Spanish. Um, if you're really serious about learning Spanish, you really shouldn't be listening to anything other than Spanish when it comes to like music and stuff. Like if you're in control, if you're in the car by yourself and you have your iTunes or whatever um, app you're using to listen to music, you should never choose an English song. You should force yourself to listen to Spanish. You should listen, if you have favorite podcasts, if you love listening to podcasts, throw on a Spanish podcast. Just really listen to the words, all right? If you're watching TV, or let's say you're the type of person like my mom, my mom, she's the type of person that just likes having the TV on while she's at home. Well, just put on Univision, um, put on a Spanish channel for, for a few minutes or, or throughout the day, and just listen to Spanish. Now... Obviously, you can listen passively, walk around, just hear different words, but I also recommend that you listen actively. So really listen to what it is that they're saying and find words that you don't understand. So if you if you are listening to a song and you keep hearing a rapper say, Tava, 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 you'll probably say, what in the heck is Tava? I never learned Tava. What word is Tava? And then you can go to the lyrics and you see the real word is Estava. And then it's like, oh, so he kept saying estaba, he kept saying taba. So now that has been registered in your head. So now when you're in the streets and I come up to you or you just hear somebody say taba, then it automatically registers, oh, taba is estaba. So you have to continuously put yourself in these positions to listen to this type of Spanish. So we have listen to more Spanish passively, also actively. So that's kind of two tips and one, I do think listen, listening passively is good because, of course, we can't always just be sitting at the TV 100% of the time staring and listening to everything they're saying. But we can passively be listening while we're doing things and um, we can passively listen to music sometimes. We're in the car with a friend and just try to pick out words that we hear. Because sometimes we're walking in the street, somebody might yell to us and we don't understand everything they say. We have to put together what they said passively. Now, the next tip I'll give you is to stay confident. All right. It's very important that you stay confident with anything, any goal that you're trying to achieve, including learning a language. It's very important to stay confident and realize that um, you aren't the only one struggling. Even natives struggle when they go to other countries and stuff because they're not accustomed to that Spanish. I always tell the story of recently when I went to Madrid in like the first few days, it was hard for me to understand um, what they were saying. I was recently watching on Netflix the show, um, I forgot what it's called. It's They call it the money heist in English. I just know that, but I turned it to Spanish because I didn't like the, the dub over that they did in English and I figured out that it was a Spanish show. So I started watching in Spanish and yes, I can understand the majority of it. I would like to hope so, you know, I'm a native speaker and a Spanish teacher, but 
at times I didn't understand what they were saying. Like I couldn't understand the dialect. I couldn't understand the word that they said. Maybe they said a word that was native to only their country and that I didn't even know. So don't get discouraged. Look, I don't know every word in the English language. I don't know every word in the Spanish language. I'm sure if I went to some states in the United States, they would say some words that I wouldn't even know what they meant or I wouldn't even understand when they said it. I wouldn't understand their dialect when they talked. It's the same thing with Spanish. So try not to be too hard on yourself. Keep practicing, keep learning, keep listening. And yeah, keep watching this channel, keep getting tips from us, and you will continue to improve your Spanish. As always, if you enjoyed the video, do me a big favor, hit the thumbs up for me. Again, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, please comment, let me know what else you need help with. That's why I have this channel so that I can help you speak Spanish faster. And if you want more training on this topic, pretty much, that can really help your Spanish comprehension and help your speaking ability, go check out our free training at speakspanishfaster.com slash YouTube. All you have to do, I'll put that link in the comments for you and I'll pin it there. You can go there again, speakspanishfaster.com slash YouTube. I have some more free training for you that can help you take your Spanish to the next level. Until next time, hasta luego.